Good afternoon, everyone. My presentation today will describe the policy advocacy for the new normal during the COVID-19 pandemic response in Sri Lanka. I'm Dr. Rangika Fernando from the unit of Deputy Director General Public Health Services two of the Ministry of Health, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka went into a six week lockdown in March, 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It became evident that the country could not go back to the pre-COVID business as usual and that these restrictions would have to be relaxed in a gradual manner. Thus, it was essential to develop clear guidelines for resumption of public activities and work settings in a manner conducive for the prevention and control of COVID-19. The Ministry of Health followed a rapid consultative process with relevant stakeholders, considering the urgent need to work towards a new normal in a manageable and feasible manner and following an equity and rights-based approach. The latest evidence-based recommendations were adopted with suitable, suitable customization. The ministry put forward an advocacy brief that highlighted the interventions to be taken by the government. It was prepared ahead of the relaxation of restrictions in May 2020 to enable government ministries and departments to plan ahead to restore and maintain the economic and social functions of the country. This was presented to the Cabinet of Ministers. It advocated all sectors and the general public to embrace and work towards a new normal, ensuring strict adherence to prevention and control measures. A timeline for graded resumption of activities was issued based on the prevailing country situation. Two timelines for higher risk and for lower risk areas were developed and revised as appropriate considering epidemiological information and emerging evidence. General guidelines, along with a set of instruction notes for a range of public activities and work settings were issued. The instruction notes included guidance for owners or management and for employees and for clients or users of the services. These were developed for activities such as the use of tri conduct of conferences, use of public buses, and visiting family and friends. Instructions for settings, such as supermarkets, grocery shops, places of worship, offices, postal services, and childcare centers and preschools were issued, as well as for mobile food vendors, garbage handlers, and functions such as weddings held in hotels or reception halls. Oops, give me a minute. Accordingly, the owner, manager, or organizer is required to indicate their compliance with these instructions by submitting an assurance form to the Area Medical Officer of Health with a copy to the local government authority. These documents, as well as any further guidelines and amendments, were made available to the public and organizations through the website of the Ministry of Health. They were later printed and distributed to all stakeholders, including members of parliament and other ministries and to ground level field officers as a handbook. A mechanism to monitor the implementation and provide guidance and feedback at national, provincial, district, divisional and village level was introduced in collaboration with all stakeholders, including the Ministry of Public Services, provincial councils and local government, other relevant ministries and the Sri Lanka police. In conclusion, Timely advocacy and clear guidelines are useful to enable the government and the public to function safely and eff efficiently in the new normal. We recommend that strengths and gaps in implementation be further studied to enhance effective use of the guidelines in the new normal. The advocacy brief, instruction notes, and assurance form are available on the website of the Ministry of Health and can be accessed from the QR code given on this slide. Thank you.